Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And let's see what we got going on in here. You guys feel that? You feel the amazingness of this light? Because I do. We're gonna be looking at this beautiful, beautiful cucumber plant over here. This is honestly by far the best cucumber growth I have ever had. And been since I've started growing about a few years ago and this thing is just doing excellent like look at the size of these leaves guys unbelievable look at this one back here and today is the first day the tendrils have finally began to grow there's currently only one right now but as you see in addition with that we have some beautiful beautiful flowers forming basically as I'm going to be lifting up each leaf you're going to see flowers all around. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer right there. And you can see tiny flowers forming all around. Now this is a self-pollinating cucumber plant so I'm not gonna have to do much in, over here besides come in and harvest the cucumbers once they're ready. And this is by far the best cucumber growth like I mentioned earlier. Uh, not only does the plant look super healthy, I water this thing maybe about twice a week. This is a pretty massive container and it holds quite a bit of moisture in there for a long time so I try not to overwater it I don't want to have any diseases happening with the plant however you could see just how tight and condensed this plant is growing if you look back in my previous history for like my cucumber growths you, you would see they're definitely much more leggy than this is and even though it was growing on a trellis it was kind of like it was still quite stretchy but this one over here, man, I don't know. Do you guys experience growth this tight, or is it is it just this current growth happening for me right now? Look at how condensed everything looks over here, and the base of the plant is approximately like an inch in thickness at the very tip right there. I can't reach to stick my hand in there right now without damaging the plant too much, so I'm going to leave that alone. See if we can focus that a little bit better. You guys can see a closer look. Now, I've been inspecting these leaves just in case to see if there's any damages or anything happening. I haven't seen any mites or or uh, aphids, thankfully. Although, there are these bottom leaves that do touch the soil, so I think I'm definitely going to be clipping those off. Let's actually do that right now. So, let's kind of... I'll show you guys how I clean this plant up a little bit. Now, you want to make sure you have either clean hands or a pair of scissors or shears here's a closer look of what the leaf looks like you can see no aphids, no spider mites looking very healthy although the very bottom leaves I did notice they have these little spots that are beginning to to show mostly on the very bottom leaves those are the, the oldest ones so it's kind of coming right there at the bottom now the reason why I'm clipping this plant leaves and trimming it down a little bit is because just in case I overwater this thing by mistake and there's any eggs or anything from like any of these like little bugs spider mites or aphids I don't want them crawling up on the leaves even having the super easy access up to the plant so keep monitor of your uh, excuse me keep monitor of your plant if you do notice any spider mites or aphids first thing you want to do is just spray a little water use a spray bottle so something that like that now aphids and spider mites are very weak they're very soft so any type of spray from a spray bottle like that is enough force to knock those bugs right off now I'm debating if I should kind of come in and tilt the plant a little bit so it could begin to wrap around this bottom section over here or just kind of let it go natural I'm most likely gonna see how it goes for another week or two and take it from there what do you guys think does this plant look healthy or what this is due to the fact that this extremely powerful amazing amazing light guys I could not be happier so we're gonna be back from uh, we're gonna be back soon for some more episodes definitely expect lots of things coming out in the future and definitely stay tuned if you have any questions or comments post them down below and if you like the episode 
Don't forget to hit the thumbs up as always, and subscribe if you didn't subscribe already, and hit that bell so you guys get notifications of when I post new videos. Before we go, I just want to show you real quick. This is a beautiful basil plant that I planted from the, th that farmer's market basil that I purchased. And I remember I planted about five of them. Everything except one died. And you can see this is basically an outside purchase basil plant that I had a very small piece and I put it in there and sure enough it took off and it's doing excellent right now. So I'm most likely going to let it grow a little bit bigger and then try to propagate it a little more and kind of spread it out a little bit so I can have a bigger basil plant and fill that pot up. As always, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon for more.